Good afternoon. This is the special personnel committee meeting for December 27. I'm Stephen Havey, your personnel chair. I'd like for you to please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all very much. <clears throat> We'd like to start off, please, with a roll call. Mr. Havey. Here. Mr. Harris. Mrs. Burdick. Mr. Graves. Here. Mr. Rickey. Here. Mrs. Root. Here. Mr. Stocken. Here. Mr. Crandall. Here. Six present, two absent. Thank you. Uh, our agenda here calls for Mr. Michael McCormick, uh, election commissioner, to come speak to us briefly about a request. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, rather. Afternoon. Afternoon, Chairman. Good afternoon, sir. While I got a chance here, I want to, uh, Barb, our deputy commissioners are here today. Barb Broughton and Marcy Crawford. Um, that's Welcome. Yep, okay. And uh, on behalf of the Board of Elections, I'll speak for myself and the Board of Elections, we want to thank the legislators, all of you <coughs> cumulatively, for the past four years, this past term, because you've given us everything we've needed at the Board of Elections. Got a new office there. Uh, early voting site in Wellsville, and any re uh, reasonable request we made for absentee voting and stuff, the legislators have obliged us. So we want to thank you for that. And of course, I want to I want to mention the outgoing legislators: Carl Graves, excellent job; Judy Hopkins, who's here. Judy, thank you for your work. Dave Decker, for your work. Chairman Crandall, you know, been great. Yeah, yeah and Bill Dibble. <coughs> yeah, okay. And the new legislators that won elections here this past year, uh, Sire, Demick, Rickett Swales, Hanchett, and Rumfelt, welcome. And the Board of Elections will be, you're always welcome to stop down. We're here today to ask the personnel committee, we want to change vendors for our um, election management system. Uh, the next, our election management system is next, the new vendor we want is next vote. Uh, they offer us uh, a better s set of services that uh, currently the NTS people don't do. Uh, we worked with uh, Carissa uh, Terry and um, and uh, Keith Hooker and the new attorney on this contract, and so we're just asking uh, if you allow us to uh, go with this new vendor. So moved. Mr. Graves moves it, seconded by Mrs. Root. Okay, discussion. I guess I'll start off. Um, I see the five-year contract is $157,000 and change. How does this compare to our current uh, vendor, price-wise? Um, probably less than. Yeah. Is what we've been told. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here. Yeah. Well, why don't Here. you, I tell you Barb. what, uh, since not everyone can hear you, could you possibly come up and do that at the microphone? Thank you. Sorry. And the public, that's right. We are Sorry. We're on currently Facebook. Sorry. We're currently at 30000 a year, a little over 30000 a year. So a five-year five contract with them right now at their base rate, which I believe we'll see an increase in, is at 150000 anyway. Plus your um, five-year, they are taking the first year software cost and spreading it out along the five years. So that's where some of that money 
is an increase. Okay. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Curran. I was just wondering why, why you're just dissatisfied with your current. They're not able to keep up with what's going on and with the local laws right now. We've had over 90 changes. I'm not trying to step on your toes, Mike. No, go ahead. We've had over 90 law changes, and what they're doing is backdooring fixes, and it's not really working. We're right now, today, they worked on it last week. We're still downtime this week, and then it's only Monday. They're not able to move forward as quickly as it's needed. Mm -hmm. They also have different modules where this next vote does not. It will be less time consuming for Marcy and I or any clerks in the future or deputies in the future because that'll all be into one program versus right now absentee, poll worker, street, and voter registration are all different modules. So you have to be entering into different systems same company but different sections of the system right. in order for it to work and backtrack in this new system you don't do that it's all right there in one programming it's a much simpler easier process i've watched it and watched two of their um demonstrations one at conference and then we had them come out to our office as well and uh, according to the memorandum of explanation here We'd be looking at an $18,000 savings this year or next year. Rather. Yes, because they were willing to spread the initial fees out over the five year process, five year contract. I'm sold. I'm okay. sold too, thanks. I'll shut up then. <laughs> Thank you. That comment was uh, Legislator Graves, by the way. Um, other questions, comments, concerns? Mr. Decker, sir. This inc uh, includes the machines that we put our ballots in this has nothing to do with the machines um this is strictly our voter registration system which we've had since 95 they started with nts nts kind of had a monopoly on the entire process there were no other vendors that were certified this um, company is just recently certified has been working with the state for four years to get to the point where it was acceptable and certified um, do we have counties surrounding us that are using the same system? Yes, they are all. We have other counties that are going on. We'll be the third county in the state with this system. Right now, Shenango and then Steuben will be the first and second one, and then we'll be the third one on board. And then there are other counties following. The it's night and day between the two vendors right now. Does it does this system interact? Do you have interaction with other counties? During elections, so that, or are you, are we stand alone? <clears throat> interactions as far as our system interacting with theirs. Our system interacts with the New York State Board of Elections voter registration system, but we don't, all of us interact with that and then back out. They also have the module, which will be ready very shortly for the tracking of the absentees, which is going into law effective in 2022, where someone can be tracking absentees. We had three new laws last week that they're already on board with. So it's it's not a fix and it's not a backdoor to what's happening with NTS right now. So we're gonna, we, right now we interact with New York State and we'll be able to with this system as well. Yes, actually much quicker because um, county to county transfers we have to go in and look up a, on a separate screen right now this new program will interact with what we call nice voter and it will give us right then and there the um, possible matches so that it will be a quicker process. Okay. I mean, Marcy Thank will you. attest to the problems that we've been having with NTS. Okay. Other questions and comments? Uh, Mr. Barnes, sir. Yes, uh, what, what you just said, uh, I think I'd understand, but I just, if a, a registered voter here in Allegheny County moves to Staben County uh, and they register there, does that automatically come back to, to you to, to take them off from our roll? Yes. That's not new, though. That 
that's it's just going to be quicker okay but that's not new nice voter new york state board of elections that has been but is that all done electronically yes and right now we're having an extreme amount of issues with the dmv imports with nts where the next vote is not because of different address lines and such you can register the dmv and it automatically we can import that information into our system but this now does this have anything to do with with counting votes or uh... 100 percent um if they move county to county they can vote on election day by affidavit and their vote would count that's been in the makings for two years this is for two years so it will move that process and our research much quicker now how about out of state how does that work out of state it will not affect it it'll still be the same process if you did not register within the 30-day window then you will not be eligible to vote we'll offer you an affidavit ballot but it wouldn't carry over just county to county in new york state thank you okay anyone else hearing none all those in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed and that is carried thank you mr mccormick sir thank you all right do we have any old business any new business good of the order ah mr dibble sir I agree. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Mr. Chairman, as it appears there is no further business to conduct, I move we adjourn. Mr. Graves, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Second is uh, Mr. Stock, and all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you all. We're adjourned. <laughs>